What's good? This is Investing with Jax. I'm Jax and this is not financial advice. If you get any value out of this video, please hit that like button, subscribe and turn on bell notifications if you're new. So we had a pretty rough day for all of us holding AMC. We're down 20% on the day. We closed the day out at 7.09. Things weren't looking too good today, but I still think there's a lot of hope. I also don't want to give any false hope. I think Mark Cuban shared some really, really wise words today, and I just want to share them with you guys. So he said, supply and demand, but in the case, it literally could be because the source of demand has been crippled. When Robinhood shut it down, then cut it back, let's put aside why they cut out the greatest source of demand. They created a Robinhood dive. No Robinhood buyers means sellers lower their price to find buyers, and they keep on lowering till they find buyers. Keep the most natural buyers out of the market and price keeps on falling. So this is why we're seeing these huge dips. All the people who tried to buy on Robinhood couldn't and it plummeted and there might have been some market manipulation as well. Then the drop accelerates because the more the stock falls, the more owners who bought on margin get margin calls. When the margin call happens, it's brutal. They take they just take your stock, send you a FU note, and sell your stock at the market price, no matter how low. They just want to get your cash to pay back the loan. That, that then accelerates the selling, which then leads to what we are seeing in the market right now with GME in particular. We're also seeing it with AMC. So what to do? This is what he had to say. If you can afford to hold the stock you hold, I don't own it, but that's what I would do. Why? Because when Robinhood and other online brokerages open back up to buyers, then we'll see what Wall Street bets is really made of. That is when you get to make it all work. I have no doubt that there are funds and big players that have shorted this stock again, thinking they are smarter than everyone on Wall Street bets. I know you are going to hate to hear this, but the lower it goes, the more powerful Wall Street bets can be stepping up to buy the stock again. The only question is what broker do you use? Do you stay with Robinhood? Who is going to have the same liquidity problems over and over again? Or do you as a group find a broker with a far, far better balance sheet that won't cut you off and then go ham on Wall Street? So he's basically saying, we need people to buy. We need Wall Street to come together. Do we have that buying power? We don't really know. Obviously, with it diving, that makes it look like things aren't good. But if we can get that buying power, it could shoot back up. It may not. I don't want to give you any false hope. It certainly may not. What I do want to say is AMC is the one of the oldest and the largest. It is the largest movie chain in the world when the vaccine is getting mass distributed when life gets back to normal amc is not talking about going bankrupt they took it off the table people start going back to the movie theaters they start making out they start throwing skittles at each other and amc is going to go back to 20 to 30 dollars that is my opinion honestly look at it this way if you have a lot of money in amc right now more than just your fun money. Think about ordering a pizza. It's nice and hot, you're starving, and you take a bite and you're like, man, this doesn't even taste good. And you're so disappointed and you have to eat a slice of toast with peanut butter and jelly. You almost throw the pizza out, but you're like, you know what, I'm just gonna put it in the fridge. The next morning you wake up, your stomach's grumbling, you go downstairs, you take out that pizza and you pull out that cold, hard pizza and you take a bite and you're like huh not so bad after all i think that's how you kind of have to look at amc something that's going to be better in the future if this squeeze doesn't happen if we don't see enough buying action then just hold it long term this is not financial advice that's just my opinion if you guys enjoyed this give it a big fat like hit that subscribe if you're new turn on that notification bell and i will see you guys in the next one much love, guys. Take care.